Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me here back at Motec today. I've genuinely lost count of the amount of times I've been here. And actually my car's been on this ramp quite a number of times as well. The plan for today's video is actually to upgrade the brakes again. Now you may know I have a full EBC setup on this car, which is great, absolutely fantastic, absolutely love it but I wanna go a little bit more. Um, now with this car, I am still debating whether to go stage three or not. And basically today is all about future-proofing the car because we're going for, well, Motec's own six pot big brake kit on the front. Now we're gonna catch up with Mike in a moment as we always do when we pop down here to Motec. It's gonna show us everything which we're fitting today and it's going to look mega. But it does seem like it's like the big brake kit season at the moment, having just fitted a big brake kit to the Golf R. I couldn't leave this thing out. So yes, all exciting. Big brake kit for the 140 today, super excited. But before we do anything, get the car up in the air and get the wheels off and everything, then let's catch up with Mike, have a look at all the parts we're fitting and uh, yeah, then go from there. We're back. Hi. Mike is back on the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much to everybody. <laughs> um, we got you back in last time you here for dampers and drop brakes, all good? Yeah, yeah, love no, it, big absolutely difference. love it. Yeah, yeah, I have actually, especially good. on the roads in the UK, they're bouncing all over the place, but yeah, no, it's all good. Sorted. good. And then we did tease maybe about these we did. And we also yeah. teased about wheels. Which I've got sorted, which are coming soon. So there's there's, lots, there's lots going on with the car. And yeah, yeah, you've told me some of them. There's a lot yes. more coming, coming, yeah. So, yeah, there is. so it's good to have content. It's Change still an bit. active car, which is good. Yeah. Now so, I mentioned that obviously we um, we fitted the EBC setup. Yes. Probably a little while ago now. Um, in the old unit, so it was a little while ago now. It, yeah. yeah, it was actually, it was in the uh, old unit. Yeah, maybe. Um, so basically what I said in the intro is we're kind of just future-proofing because yep. if I go more power, it's probably best that I upgrade the brakes again, yep. just because, I mean, when you stick a turbo on the 140s, they become an absolute animal. Complete, complete. <laughs> and it starts to show up other weaknesses. Yeah, true, exactly. But um, yeah, we got quite a, a hefty set of six pots going on the car. Yeah. Um, now talk us through kind of this comparison here because we've got the EBC set up here. So the ones on your, your left, here. Um, it's pretty much identical. It's the same setup as what we fitted before to your car. Yeah. So you've got the EBC dimpled and grooved um, pin drive sort of system, which is replicates the factory one. So that's what you currently have on the car, mm -hmm. and that's the pad you currently have on the car. Yeah. So you can see the surface area. It works quite well for fast road use yep. for the power you've got. Um, I think you've had a cute. You're quite a handy driver on track. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you're, you. You're not shy. Um, <laughs> so you basically just you know it, it's time to replace them. Yeah, going yeah. more power, it, it's a no brainer. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, what we spoke previously on the other video, it's about this gap in the in the pad, which helps disperse, you know, get rid of heat and pressure. Yeah. But once they're gone, they are pretty much gone. So we're going to move to this setup here, which is a complete two-part floating setup rather than the pin drive. Mm -hmm. It's a larger volume disc. It's 355 mil. It's a much wider pad. So you've got two grooves, obviously, rather yep. than compared to the one. Mm -hmm. And you can see the surface. If I put the two pads next to each other, you can see the Absolutely, surface area of yeah. your pressure. So at the minute, obviously, you have the single piston. Yep. And now obviously we're going to, you know, your six pot setup. Ooh -hoo. Yeah, so it's a pretty impressive setup. It will look amazing on the car. Yeah, it will. Uh, yeah, so we have these built for us in Holland and then just painted to replicate the rears. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people don't do too much for the rears, but you're going to yeah. keep your EBC setup, so it's work perfectly with that. And them. obviously so, the so calibers are the, the same colour. Yeah, that was well. exactly, yeah, 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 exactly. So it still we looks quite logo into it. But yeah, this will be a really nice setup onto it. Mm -hmm. um, same procedure, breaking it in, but of course we expect some good feedback from you. Exactly, absolutely. Yeah. And obviously the EBC setup, which we've got on the rear of the car, is staying, yeah. obviously makes sense. We've well, got the Alistair front and rear, it's no problem exactly. at all. Yeah. See so, yeah, how you get on with these, and I can sort of say, if you are going for big, big power, which I think mm -hmm. you may be doing later on, <laughs> um, I will send you some blue stuff pads, okay. uh, and we yeah. can try those sure. out as well. But the good thing is with these, just literally on bottom, slide them out, you yeah. can just change the pads Absolutely. relatively easy. For and them. I have a track day coming up. So oh, when's that? I'll get them all bedded in uh, end of the month, I okay. think. You've so got to probably... do some miles on these then? Yes, absolutely. So yeah, I need to course. use it a bit. But yeah, super excited. So I think we'll get them fitted. Yeah, yeah nice to see the difference, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, very, very cool. So that is the complete setup, almost front and rear. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> of, you can sort of see, yeah, be. before and after. Yeah, sure, yeah. we've got a standard yeah. disc, a yeah. standard setup to see the, the three stages. But mm -hmm. yeah, if you like, you know, when you have stage one stock car, stage yeah. one, stage two, we're now going to sort of stage two, if absolutely. you like. So yeah. stage two of the braking system. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. All right. Oh, one thing to note as well, kind of hardware, we're going braided lines and yes, uh, fluid and yeah. everything like that. So it's a full big brake kit. Yeah, everything. Yes, exactly. Everything. Yeah. Well, we'll do a bit of B-roll, I'm sure, now. I'll have to go yeah. through the parts we're fitting as well. Exactly. Yeah, completely. Brilliant. Right, let's get cracking. No worries. So this is now starting to look very, very cool. It looks unreal, isn't it? it? Does, well, on the other it? side, I just offered the wheel up once to make sure it passes oh, inside yeah. the wheel. No yeah. problems at all, absolutely. <laughs> like I said, these are also really designed to fit behind the original M-like wheels. Yeah. So even the fact that you have the 46 star wheels, mm -hmm. 
we can put the original M light wheels onto it and mm -hmm. they fit behind them perfectly. So Perfect. 355 mm setup, EBC yellow stuff pad in there. The blue's worked out really well. Keeps mm. the theme obviously your original color. Yeah, that's still blue, yeah, <laughs> you absolutely. Take the wrap off yeah. and it matches the rears as well. So it yeah. kind of looks very factory. Mm -hmm. Um, you can see a damper in there, obviously yep. a spring. We've obviously added the braided lines. We've got to bleed the system through now. Perfect. Um, and they'll be ready to go. But yeah, yeah, as a whole, I've literally just been looking at the car. We've done a lot to this. <laughs> yeah, over the over the year or so. So star springs, dampers, underbody brace, intake, P3 gauge, on, uh, Bilstein dampers, top yep. strut brace. Maxton parts. Yeah, I can't think. I think when you come to sell this, I might have to buy it off of you. It's got all our shop parts already <laughs> yeah. onto it. It's a no-brainer. Um, but these are, as well, like, these have come out really well, haven't they? They have. They have. So so they're, well. They're I can't really go over. Cool how well they're gonna look. It's one of those things, obviously this is just a coating, so unfortunately this won't last, it's yeah, black disc, which is such a shame, yeah. but it'll burn off. But it's almost, I like detail. Mm. You look at a 911 GT3 and you see all the detail behind the wheel, the caliper, yeah. the two part floating disc. So imagine when your wheels on it, and of course your new wheels. Yes, absolutely. When you start seeing brands, Michelin, and obviously working with the wheel, I was about to say the wheel name then, but I can't say that. <laughs> That's for another video. It just, it's a, detail's like a watch. Yes, just the more sort of you can see into it, but this just looks really good. I can't mm. wait to see your reaction yeah, to it. Honestly, so um, we're just gonna bleed it now, and then we'll get it out. Obviously clean the disc, scrub them up, make sure it breaks yep. through, and then uh, let you give a bit of a, a feedback report. Perfect, yeah, I think I'll uh, probably add a bit of the video, driving home, get kind of first impressions. There's yeah. obviously a, a bedding in process as well. Same as what we did before on the other EBC. So yep. you have a braking in procedure on the EBC yellow stuff pad, and mm -hmm. obviously any brake really. So about 350, 400 miles, fairly light use, and then yep. actually give it some you know, progressive stops. So yep. not, mm, 70 to zero, <laughs> yep. hard stops, not emergency stops, do yep. seven or eight of them, get some heat into them, and then mm -hmm. you'll be good as gold from yep. there. Perfect. Yet again, before on your EBCs, they're probably gonna squeal for the first sort of three, 400 miles mm -hmm. until that bedding in process is yep. gone, and after that, you'll be as good as gold. Perfect, awesome. Right, yeah, let's exciting. get this finished off, wheels on, down off the ramp, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, no worries, I really like them, they look amazing. I love so them, good. absolutely love them. So, so good. <laughs> All road tested, all happy. Yeah, all car done. drives really great actually. We can't give it too much because like I said, we've just bedded them in. We've yep. gone over the bedding in procedure, um, but it breaks true. You've got a nice pedal feel. Obviously when you came in, it was very numb because yep. obviously you had burnt the pads out before. Yep. <laughs> um, but yeah, nice progressive pedal feel. Um, you've got plenty of surface area onto there. Mm -hmm. And just overall, they just, going on looks wise, it's transformed the car. Yeah. No, when you really, really get some heat and temperature and be able to actually push on them, it will really, really stop really mm. well. So Perfect. recap, braided lines, 355 mil floating discs, six pot caliper, um, and then just, yeah, perfect setup. Uh, I did have to apologize. I did say early on that the original one's a single, actually a twin piston, yep. <laughs> don't go too ham on me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just the whole setup has just transformed it. Um, this is the first, we've actually got two sets of these in. Yep. So yours, um, we know we're gonna get some feedback from you, so mm -hmm. it'd be interesting Absolutely. to see how you do with that. And I'm sure when you're happy with them, we'll kind of, yeah. uh, by the time this video goes live, we'll have probably put them on the website ready for sale. But yep. no, it's a um, nice setup. They look amazing. Very OEM plus, which we tried to do. Yeah, again, matching the front and the color of Absolutely. the rear calipers. Yeah. But what do you reckon, Tim? Absolutely love them. I mean, even just from here, looking at it through the camera um, lens, it looks so good. Yeah. Really yeah. smart. And, and when you get your... the first one fitted these on the cars. Well. Yes, it's correct. Yeah. Yeah. We've been working hard. Um, we wanted to make sure that we had a setup that was already available and it fitted behind the original wheels. Yeah. And then I remembered you don't actually have original wheels. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> it was always a good set. But there's plenty of room. You can get yeah, my hands yeah, in there. So it's absolutely room. fine. And as you know, it does run quite close to the wheel weights, but it, it won't catch them. So yep, yeah, absolutely. jobs are good. And I just need a bit of feedback from you. Absolutely. Which I'm sure you do this, this video, I'll be sure to drive it yeah, a lot. I love them. <laughs> uh, makes me want to buy another M140 again and put them on there. Yeah, do it. I know, do don't. it. Kit it out with all your stuff. We've had this conversation before. I, I, I bought one and sold it. Did yeah. You see the video? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sold it in half an hour. So I don't know. Maybe we'll buy another one. But like I say, maybe we'll buy this one. We'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You can rock the wrap. <laughs> can I can lose something, can <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Brilliant. Well, lovely to see you as always. Yeah, more than welcome. And you can find amazing. all the details for Motec down in the description. But I think I need to take this for a first drive. Yeah, see it's good. It's like. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Thanks again. No more than welcome. So, another trip to Motec is complete. Always good to catch up with the guys there. Now, with the new brakes all fitted and on the car. Now, I think where I'm going with this, like I mentioned earlier on in the video, it's very much so a modification of future-proofing the car. The brakes I had on before, the EBCs, the ones which I now still have on the rear, um, are very, very good brakes. It was mainly a case of wear on my front. Um, 
I do drive this car quite a lot and when I do drive it I do drive it quite hard um, and it's a consumable brakes do get worn out and they do need replacing um, and so I thought naturally rather than going for the same setup again go for a big brake kit Motec have recently um, released this big brake kit in fact my car is the first car to have these fitted which is an honor actually um, and so I thought why not let's go for it because you never know if I end up going stage three or anything crazy, crazier, um, then I want to make sure that my brakes uh, are up to it. And to be honest, the EBCs would probably be okay, to be honest, um, having experienced this at stage two plus. I can imagine that even at stage three, they would do just the job. I thought I'd kind of switch it up a bit, make it a little bit more spicy and obviously bring you guys some more content. I am absolutely over the moon with these, um, obviously still bedding the car in. I mean, I've probably done half a mile um, anyway so that I can know I can by no means go flat out or anything but um, yeah we'll get this bedded in I am due to take the car back out on track very soon um, along with the Golf R that is probably going to be up on the channel very soon as first track outing which I'm very excited for along with a whole load of modifications for that that is all systems go on that car um, but getting a little bit uh, off topic that's not what we're here for today um, yeah really really excited what do you guys think of them do you do you like them i'm sure you do because to be honest they look they look i know it's, it's a saying which i know a lot of people don't like but oem plus they're a big upgrade from completely bone standard brake setup but they don't look so outlandish obviously finished in i think it's actually estheral blue that the calipers are painted on all wear more 40i's um so it's the same color as a standard caliper but obviously we got six pops now um, and I cannot wait to get this thing back out onto the limit um, and go and have some proper fun now with the new brakes installed. But I think for now at least, I just have a two hour drive back down south um, and then we'll wait until we can get it back out on track. In the meantime, in the background, I'll obviously get the brakes bedded in. Um, so we're all ready to take it back out on track, which I'm very, very much so looking forward to. But um, yeah, like I said earlier on, you can find all of Motex links down in the description down below. But for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.